Hello there, Jeff from Small Arms Research. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk to you about a company called WPA. When you hear WPA, you probably think of Wolf Performance Ammunition. Well, today we're going to talk about Wolf Performance Arms. Stick around. Check out this Vepper. Let's start out by chatting a little bit about WPA. Uh, previously known as uh, Wolf Performance Ammunition. Today, the larger company is Wolf Performance Arms. They have an optics line, they have a rifle line, uh, and then they have their standard ammo line that everybody's used to. Now, the firearm that we're testing today is the Vepr, V-E-P-R. Uh, Vepr is Ukrainian for wild boar. The Vepr is manufactured in Russia in the plant, I believe it's called Molot, M-O-L-O-T. I'm sure somebody can correct me on the pronunciation if that's not correct. Uh, this is the plant that typically manufactured the Stechkin machine pistols and also manufactured the RPK light machine guns. In 1995, the political climate had changed and the Molot plant started looking for something for the commercial market. And their offering was this Vepr. Uh, it was originally introduced in 762 by 39 and they followed that with 762 by 51. Uh, today they make it in 762 by 54R, which is the version that we have today. They also make it in 223. Today the Vepra 762 by 54R that we're testing uh, has a 20 inch hammer forged chrome line uh, barrel, chrome line boring chamber. Uh, we're testing it with a Barska four to 16 power scope. We only thought that was fitting. It has a side scope mount. It has a very, very rugged receiver similar to that of the RPK. It's got a beautiful walnut thumb hole stock and we're looking forward to shooting it. Let's see how it performs. The Vepr uses a five round detachable magazine. It's very thin compared to a standard uh, AK style magazine, also very long, obviously. This particular magazine holds five rounds. It's my understanding that they also make a 10 rounder um, and that there may be some longer ones. We're sighted in roughly at uh, 50 yards. We're gonna put a five shot group down and we're gonna see how this 148 grain uh, Russian ammo does. Uh, We'll go to 100 yards and we'll try to get back as close to 200 yards as we can. Now the controls on the Vepr are very much like that of any of the other rifles in the AK family. So it will be very, very comfortable and familiar to you if you have, you know, if you own or if you spent much time with one of these guns. We're back at the 100 yard mark, and at this point we're looking for repeatability. So we're not gonna make any more adjustments on the scope. We're not going to change the ammunition. We just wanna see what the change in the point of impact and the type of grouping is without making any adjustments. We're just testing to see what the rifle is capable of um, with me behind it. What a handicap for the rifle, huh?
Okay, we're tickling just under 150 yards from this point. It's going to be awful hard for you to see because we're shooting into shade um, at, at quite a downward grade. Depending on so. your line of work or what you use a rifle like this for for recreation, a uh, minute of angle or, or sub MOA may be important. To other people, a uh, minute of Tannerite is what they're looking for. So let's see if we can achieve that. That would be a yes. Well, thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you learned a little bit about the Vepper. Uh, it's a nice rifle, especially for the money. Um, I would certainly compare it to a poor man's Dragunov without uh, uh, losing any quality whatsoever. Very nice gun, nice wood, good trigger, uh, and it shoots very well. Again, thanks for joining us. If you liked the video, please subscribe and ask your friends to do the same. Have fun and be safe. Just for a parting thought, the next time you're having a bad day, just think, you could be my neighbor. <laughs> Feel better already, don't you?